how's it going? It is your muscle building coach, Lee Hayward, and in today's video, we're going to discuss some nutrition strategies for bulking. And I was having this discussion with Kevin, who is one of my Inner Circle Coaching Club members, and Kevin is currently following a mass building bulk up diet, and he's getting burnt out on bulking. That's Kevin's exact words, burnt out on bulking. And when I came to see his sample diet plan, uh, it's, it's no wonder why, because he's eating a heck of a lot of food. I mean, he's eating seven very high calorie meals every day, and it's, it's just overkill. There's no need to consume that much food in order to follow a successful bulking program. And, and when it comes to bodybuilding, a lot of people have this mindset of more is better. You know, I, I'm all in or I'm not in at all. You know, there's, there's no such thing as moderation or mediocre. It's, it's, you know, balls to the wall or nothing at all. And in Kevin's case, when he's following his bulk up diet, he's literally force feeding himself and trying to force his body to grow. And that is not a long term approach. And it's not a very uh, healthy approach because what's going to happen is, yes, you are going to build some lean muscle, but your body has a threshold of how much muscle it can actually manufacture. And the rest of those calories are going to get stored as unwanted body fat. And that's, that's the dirty downside of bulking, especially trying to force feed yourself and literally force your body to grow, because you can't do it. You need to take a different mindset approach. And what it is, is to look at your whole diet, training, lifestyle, and to figure out how much food you need to consume and to just be in a slight caloric surplus in order to allow your body to grow. So when you're in the gym training, you want to have adequate uh, calories, protein, and nutrients in your system to recover from your workouts and have a little bit of extra, a little bit of a surplus, so that you can actually grow new muscle tissue. You don't want to try and force feed yourself and try and like just through sheer volume of calories to force your body to grow because it's not going to work. It's going to force you to grow all right, but you're going to be growing in terms of excess body fat. And that's something that you don't want because then later on, you know, several months down the road, when you want to switch to a fat loss cutting program, now you have more work to, to do when it comes to cutting because you've gained all that extra body fat during your bulking. So you want to take a more modest approach with both bulking and cutting. You know, if you go to the extremes with cutting and you lose lean muscle mass, then that's more work you got to do when you bulk to try and regain the muscle you lost. So you need to take a moderate approach where you're just doing enough to move you in the right direction, whether that's gaining lean mass or losing body fat. And this overkill approach and doing more than is necessary, it's, it's ultimately it's a waste of your time and it's a waste of a lot of good quality food in the process because you don't need to be, you know, shoveling down, you know, like, like if, if you can grow on 3,500 calories a day, then consuming 4,000 or 5,000 calories a day is pointless. That's, you're just wasting that extra 1,000, 1,500 calories a day and it's being flushed down the toilet or actually it's being stored around the middle <laughs> where you don't want it to be. So have a more modest approach with your bulking. And a good guideline, a good you know, solid benchmark that you can use to monitor your progress is to gain a half a pound to one pound per week on average. I mean, if you gain a pound a week during a bulk, that is a successful week. You are moving in the right direction towards getting bigger, stronger, more muscular. I mean, if, if your body weight is going up by a pound per week and your lifts in the gym are going up as well, hey, that's thumbs up. You are on the right track for bulking. Now, when you're following a bulking program, it's not going to work like clockwork. I mean, you know, some weeks you're probably not going to gain any weight at all. Other weeks you may gain a couple pounds. I mean, it's, it's not always clockwork where every single week your body weight goes up by one pound. It, it doesn't work that way. I mean, just like in the gym, your strength doesn't always go up linear. I mean, sometimes you might not see any progress and then you might see a huge jump in strength. And it, that's just the way it is. But you want to look at the average. I mean, are you averaging a pound per week, thereabouts, a half a pound to one pound per week? And if you are, boom, you're on the right track. That's a good, successful rate of muscle gain. And if you're gaining more than that, scale back the food intake. Because that extra weight that you're gaining, unfortunately, it's not lean mass. It's going to be stored as excess body fat. So you want to take a more conservative, moderate approach to your bulking program. 
So Kevin, hopefully this helps. And uh, for those of you watching this, if you would like some help with your bodybuilding nutrition program, I actually have a program called Bodybuilding Nutrition Made Simple. And this is a totally free PDF download. And I'll have a link to it in the video description below. So you can just click on that to download your free PDF. And if you have any questions, comments, or feedback, feel free to post those in the comment section below. And I'll talk to you soon. Take care. Over and out.